Can I make me the big one? Do you think so? Mm, I like being the big one. Morning, y'all. Me and O not allowed back to school yet. No. Monday you go back. So we've dropped Mummy at the station. She's got a, like a pampery spa day she's doing. Mm -hmm. All right, Simon. So, so we're going into town, get some breakfast, aren't we? Yes. Today's vlog, we're going to talk about what to do on a Friday, because it's Friday today, yeah. to get ready for your weekend of golf. Obviously, different people will have different opportunities. Some can hit balls, some won't be able to do anything. So we're going to talk about what are the best things to do to get ready for your weekend golf. Do you know what today's question is of the day? No. Where are you playing this weekend? Down there, let's hear ya. Where are you playing golf? Where are you playing golf? <laughs> smash that pretty quick so if I was playing this weekend I would make the conscious effort today of making sure that I took the time to do plenty of practice swings wherever so my ceiling is quite high I can actually do them indoors without much speed but it would be a conscious effort to feel a few things hands on club set up if my posture is too lazy so am I standing in a position that's just comfortable rather than the position I want to be in to hit shots any swing thoughts I'm thinking about I would be making sure I'm practicing them in a swing in a movement I would definitely come outdoors if I've got the space to make full speed swings if I've got something I can connect with like just connecting with something on the ground feeling that club interact with the ground so if it's my putting green, if it's your grass, I mean as a kid I would do it on kind of even some kind of concrete surfaces just to try and get that club to brush. It would be amazing how light you can brush and make no effect to the club or certainly the bottom the sole of it. But my practice swings would be based around as well, feeling different paths of the club. So feeling like the club's going more into out, feeling like the club's going out to in, feeling like I'm swinging where I want to be maybe a bit straighter. The description makes it obvious if you think about it. We call them practice swings and that's what they need to be doing. You need to be practicing swinging in ways that you might swing on the course. Now I grew up at a course which didn't really have much of a practice area. You just had to hit them down the first fairway so there was lots of times you couldn't do that because the course had competitions or too many people on. So I spent a lot of time as a kid practice swinging, imagining shapes of swings, moving my body in particular ways, practicing different feelings, hitting balls into a net and in just in front of mirrors or in gardens and things like that. And I personally believe that's why I'm good on launch monitors now. That's why I can hit different numbers. Kind of slightly better than some other pros that are in say the videos because I spent so much time practice swinging. Lots of people haven't got the mindset for it, lots of people don't want to because they just want to have fun at the weekend but if you want to compete at your most and you can't get to the range, practice swinging but not just practicing perfect, actually different movements honestly has a massive effect. I've had some students who do that kind of religiously every day between sessions because they don't get a chance to hit the ball and I don't see any difference compared to the ones who have all the time in the world to hit balls. Sometimes they even do better when they're not swinging, trying to hit a golf ball. I've discovered something. What's that? Watch this. There's something wrong with this. What? Watch. When I roll this ball on my phone, yeah. it goes too far. It just goes miles, right? But watch this. When I try to roll it in this jam, don't go very far. It don't go anywhere, look. It just, I don't, I think this ball's broke. I, I've been doing science. I've been doing science, you see, this morning. Uh, huh. Next thing I would definitely do. Now, obviously you all can't walk out and do this. whole one out of three putts but if you are going to the range and there is a putt in place there definitely go and use it you've got to get this stick ready for the weekend you've got to get the feel of just moving it in certain directions being able to control at some kind of distance and certainly strike as much as your iron shots oh, you can definitely do stuff like this that went under the sofa so indoor carpet putting again, trying to hit towards this putt breaks, mark this putt breaks. 
a target. I'm going to use my putt out, but if I didn't have one of those, ha! Oh, I'm going to use anything I can find, and I'm going to hit putts to this. And to be honest, quite really goes left. To be honest with you, I would do this kind of through the week, not just on the Friday. I would just keep picking up. Look at that, go left. And what's, what I would do, see I don't like how far left that's going because I don't think it's consistent. So I would move and I would quite like to find a bit more of a straighter part just to get more of a feel. There we go, that way is much straighter. For the direction I'm hitting my delivery of my putter face to get that kind of level of control. And if you haven't got that, I used to when I used to compete, certainly as a younger player, do a lot of this. Get my putter in lines, swinging along lines, trying to deliver to a line again trying to build up that kind of consistency that feel to kind of five minutes each day 20 minutes each day spaced over the day you know five minute little slots just doing that makes a massive difference to how i then get to the course pick this club up and feel how i'm going to move it and then push comes to shove i'll even do this so if i'm in my office working i'm not eating them they won't come out they're, they're, they will stay in this office now. Again, I'll just pick that putter up. I'll use lines where I can again to try and reference like I did in the kitchen. But I would just pick this putter up every kind of now and then in my office while I'm waiting for my computer to do something just to give myself a break from staring at the computer and get the feel of what this stick is doing. So many people get to the course excited to play and I forgot to do this bit. It's five holes before they start hitting a decent part as they try to work out how to hit the softer ones because they might have been to the range and be smashing them down with their driver and forget that the intricate side still needs some loving. Collected. Mm -hmm. Any more golf facts for me today? No. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You got any golf facts for me? Oh, I so we should go home then. Right, last points then. Obviously, if you can get to the range before tomorrow, tomorrow being Saturday, subject to when obviously you watch this video, then that's a great thing. Go and hit your balls. But think about the way you're hitting them as well. Don't just try and hit perfect shots. And I think I've said that enough now. Try and hit some relative shots to what you might be faced with when you play tomorrow. So there's a good chance it might be windy. Maybe practice some low ones. It might be cold. Maybe take two gloves if you're someone who wears kind of double gloves when it's cold. Practice trying to bring the situation into play a little bit more. I would do that in any situation certainly for a winter's game or a Saturday game or thinking of how I'm practicing on a Friday. Now for the real keynotes out there and I used to do this lots when I was playing again and can trying to compete is I would actually play the course through in my head. It's certainly if it was a course that I hadn't played that much or a course I hadn't been to for a year something like that as an event I would remind myself of the holes. I would try to start to plan out some strategies thinking oh I might go for that hole or should I hang back and hit a pitch in. All oh, my pitches not good at the moment so I might you know I'm gonna walk through the holes in my head in an evening just to try and get onto that first tee and feel like I've already got a plan I'm not just making this up as I go I've got a strategy the wheels come off obviously then other things have to happen or if you're doing really good sometimes that affects it as well but I would definitely have that kind of preparation in my head that mental prep to try and help me for the next day also what I would do and I, I kind of do it more now I certainly do it with my tennis is I will stretch before I play so my tennis courts are like 15 minutes drive away so rather than do it on the course uh, or on the court because when I get there I kind of just want to hit balls I'm excited because I haven't played for a month or whatever or two weeks or whatever it is and I find it hard to take the time to warm up so I actually do that in the prep at home stretch out certain parts of my body I know I need to stretch so I don't cramp and I would do the same with golf I kind of do the same a little bit when we go on our tours because we tend to just get on the tee and go so if I've got five minutes while I'm waiting for coach to finish or for Rory to get filmed and done and I've got kind of five minutes just waiting for him I'll stretch out in the place we're staying so I'm ready when we get there and feel a little bit more like my body's already activated all these little things will just get you on that tee on Saturday feeling like you are ready to go should we give these two out shall we so I'm gonna go the Twitter to start and I'm gonna pick a random follower boom there's one there so I've got this guy here, Steve Greasier, you've won one of the put one of the putt outs. You there. That one is yours. Let's message you now. I have no idea where you are in the world, but you're gonna get it. Winner number two. Let's go into Instagram. And again, let's go to my followers. And we're gonna pick a random follower. Scrolly scrolly, scrolly, scrolly there. Oh, hang on. 
seem to have hit my pictures. Let's try that again. Try that again. Scrolling, 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 scrolling there. So, Ollie. There we go. Oh, Ollie Scrimshaw. You've won this putt out. So, I'm going to message you now. There we go. Two winners of putt outs. Jobs are good. Right, are you ready? Should we go to the pizza shop? Not pizza shop, it's pizza hut. Oh. Allowed to call it that. Right, see you all Monday. Have a great weekend. Let me know what you do to get ready for the weekend. I'm very tired still. Let's go to the pizza shop. It don't seem to go anywhere in this jam, look. No. I wonder if you can find out why my ball goes right and left. <laughs> well, I have been spending some time trying to work that out, but I'm still not there. <laughs> I've got, I've got some of the best in the world working on it, but they haven't got back to me yet. In fact, some of them have blocked me. <laughs> <laughs>